good morning all of you today we can discuss how we can convert paisa into rupees last class we discussed how we convert rupees into paisa okay when we convert rupees into paisa we are multiplying uh, that to rupees that number by 100 so it's a reverse also we want to do how we convert paisa into rupees we know 1 rupee is equal to how much paise? 1 rupee equal 100 paise. Okay, so to convert paise into rupees, we are dividing that paise by 100. Okay, that is the method. For example, if we convert to 100 paise, if we convert to 100 paise into rupees, if you want to convert 200 paise into rupees, what we are doing? We are dividing 200 by 200 by 100. Okay, all of you know what is 200 by 100. When we do this division, 200 by 100, the quotient we will get 2. 2 into 100 we will get 200 and the remainder we get 0. Okay, so in this case, the quotient will be the rupees and the remainder will be the paise. So, how much rupees here? So, that is 2 rupees and the remainder is 0. So, that will represent as 2 zero after the decimal point. Okay, so we can write it as 2 rupees. So, just like what will be 300 300 paise so 300 paise when we convert into rupees in the same case we are dividing 300 by 100 and we will get the quotient as 2 and the remainder as 0 so it will be 3 rupees 3 rupees when we write this time after 3 we can put a decimal point then 2 places decimal places we can write so it is 3 rupees okay so, in this case, if we want to convert another number, suppose 7,020 paise when we convert into rupees, how we can do this conversion? Okay, how we can convert this into rupees? In this case also we are dividing, uh, we are dividing 7,020 by 100. Okay, when we do this division, so we will get so in 7 divided by 100 is not possible 70 by 100 also not possible 702 divided by 100 in 702 how many hundreds are there yeah, 7 hundreds are there so 7 into 100 700 then by subtracting 2 minus 0 we will get 2 then here 0 7 minus 7 also 0 now Next to bring down the next digit to 0. Now 20. 20 by 100. So that is 0. So we can put here 0. Then next how much remainder we got now? 0 into 100 we know 0. Then remainder we will get 20. So what is the quotient here? 70 and the remainder got 20. So how much rupees and how much paisa will be here? This is 70 rupees and 20 paise. So that 20 paise we will represent as after a dot, after a decimal point. So this will be 70 rupees and 20 paise. In this way we can find out, we can convert any paise into rupees. If the question is convert 6050 paise into rupees. Now, without doing this division also, it is very easy. What we want to do? Uh, we want to do the uh, put in decimal points of before the last two digits. Okay. So, that we can convert into pi, rupees like this. This is will be 60 rupees and 50 paise. So, after the last, before the last two digits, we can insert decimal points. Now, without doing this division also, we can directly write this, uh, convert this paise into rupees. So, it will be 60 rupees and 50 paise. Now, if it is another one, 
6,900 paise. So how we will convert this 6,900? Ah, so first last two digits is 9 and 0. Okay, these two zero. So before that two digits we insert a decimal point. So the answer will be 60 rupees 9 paise. Okay, now if the paise is only this much, what will be? If it is 500 paise. 500 paise, how we will convert this? Ah, here. Here also when we convert last two places we take here. The decimal point we can insert here. So it will be 5 rupees. 5 rupees we can write like this. After that decimal point we want to insert. Decim uh, after deci um, decimal point it will be two places. Now last one more question. If the question is this. If it is only two digits what we will do. If we convert 60 paise in 2 rupees, what do you want to do? Here, how much rupees here? No rupees. So, before the decimal point, we can write 0. So, before that, we can symbol write the symbol of rupees. So, it will be 0 point, uh, 6, 0. Last two places is 6 and 0. So, after the decimal point, we can write 6, 0. And before the decimal point, there is no rupees so instead of that we can write it is zero rupees so it will be 60 paise how we read this this is 60 paise okay this way we can convert any number of paise into rupees actually we are doing division the given paise we are dividing by 100 now no need of doing always that division from this number itself we can write the direct answer we can write if you understand after the this before the two decimal places before the two la, uh, last two digits we insert the decimal point so that much paise and the other will be rupees okay so here have some questions in the textbook all of you want to do this exercise okay 900 paise so uh, how much will be 900 paise uh, it will be 9 rupees okay now 3005 paise so before the last two digits before 0 5 we can insert decimal point so it will be 30 rupees and 5 paise and 250 paise it will be ah, last two digits is 50 okay before that we insert decimal point so it will be 2 rupees and 50 paise now 70 paise how we will write ah, here no rupees there so we can write 0 0.70 okay zero, rupee symbol then 0 0.70 then do this homework in the same way okay so main thing we want to do this um, understand this point place the dots before the last two digits okay for converting by say into rupees we are dividing by 100 then without doing that division we can uh, remember this using this clue place the dot before the last two digits and place a zero before the dots if there are no rupees you look here here no rupees here 60 paise so we insert zero okay zero point six zero okay this way we can convert any number of paise into rupees okay thank you